God Hits. Hey everyone, and thank you so much for joining me today on my YouTube channel. I'm your girl, Robin Nicole, the inspiration specialist, and I'm wired to inspire you to live your authentic purpose. So guys, um, again, you know, I've been doing these little quick, short little videos, and today I wanted to pick back up on a short that I posted, and it talks about an inheritance. Something that I realized people are getting caught up in, and I too was getting caught up in it, is that you have to be careful who you are engaging in this season. You have to be careful what is being said to you and, and how things are being said to you concerning things that God has given you favor with, inheritance, blessings, and such. Because this is what's going on. There are people who do not have the, 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 the blessings and favor that you have. Now, let me be clear. What saddens me about this whole thing is that God has blessings and favor for everyone. This is this is what makes me sad because there are people who will attack you for your blessings and favor and try to make you feel bad because maybe a way that God blesses you and gives you favor, it may be an area in their life where they have to work extra hard, but it may not be an issue for you. We see this all the time when you, you see people talking about their process to, you know, conceiving sometimes or not being able to conceive or someone finding look like every five minutes they get a new person to go out on a date with and then they you know but then this other person they just been sitting around forever and they can't find nobody to go on a date with them i could i can talk about many different instances where there are times when we feel like what god does is not fair how some person can get a blessing that you want and another person may not but what i want you to pay attention to more than anything is that we all have our own portion. We all have our own set of things that come into that comes into our lives that are designed as a favor and blessings for us. What I do not want you to do, especially right now, pay attention to this heavily. Pay attention to the things that people try to make you feel bad about, like you a loser or why you doing this? You too young for that. You too old for that. Oh no, I don't. I can't do nothing like that. I don't. I don't have that luxury. Okay. Well, they don't have that luxury, but don't let somebody who does not have the same luxury and blessing as you make you feel bad for the luxury and blessing and favor that God is giving you. And unfortunately, y'all, this is why when people don't understand how God works in his favor, usually when you get favor from God, you don't really, it's just a blessing. It's just something that he's given to you. He's just adding favor to your life. There's, there's some very specific scriptures about favor i want you to look into but i would like you to search that for yourself this is how come i was able to share this because i was able to see that many people's perspective and perception of what you should be doing in your life is often filtered through what they have had to do in their lives it's just like getting mad at somebody because they were born with a quote-unquote silver spoon in their mouths i have seen people hate people for no reason just because they were born rich but they were born into poverty that's not even fair. That's like when people talk about people because they're built a certain way and they weren't born that way. Maybe that person wasn't built with a big booty. Okay. Maybe this person wasn't built with a big chest. Maybe this person has a slim frame. Maybe this person has a, a, a big frame. It's, it's asinine because people cut other people up because of things that God chose to give to them and maybe not have given to someone else. And it's not even their fault. It's literally not their fault. And they're literally hating people, can't stand people. Well, well I can't go do that. I, I got this and that. I, I can't go do that. Okay, well, that's your business if you can't do it. I can do it. And it's, and it's sad that it has to come to that because, again, sometimes when people grow up with hard times, they really look down on people who may not have had to work as hard for that thing or vice versa. There are people who have a lap of luxury and they look down on people because they got to work hard and they value things differently. But I'm saying all that to say this to you. Do not be the person that get caught, in the, caught up in the snare of dragging somebody for the things that you were not given. We all have to be checked with that from time to time. And sometimes it's so sneaky and it creeps in in such an odd little way that we don't realize we're doing it. I had somebody call me a slur 
when I was a kid. I'm going to be very vague about this because I'm not, I don't know who listening to me. But I'm going to say this to you. This is somebody who's supposed to love and care about me. And they were calling me this was ever since I was a little girl. And it wasn't until I was an adult, I didn't realize that this grown person was literally calling me this, this name. And it was because they were jealous. And I, when I became an adult and understood the depth of what they were doing, it also made me realize why, you know what? That's probably why they don't really have no luck right now. Because all they do is hate on other people. And eat. I was a child and they were doing that. I was a child. So what I'm saying to you is, if you're hearing me and you're listening to me and you really are in a space in your life where you really want to elevate and get to the highest place that God wants you to get to and you don't want to hate your inheritance, I want you to just pray in your own way and ask the Lord, Lord, Show me if in any way I'm hating the inheritance that you have given me. Am I hating favor and blessings that you've given me? Because I have encountered people who are sour. I've encountered people who are jealous. I've encountered people because they're mad because they don't have the things that I have. Because they're, they're mad because they can't see their own blessings and favor. If I am encountering people like that and it's something that I keep asking you for, I keep praying for, and I don't realize that I had it or have it because I cursed it because somebody else made me feel bad for the inheritance because they didn't get it, shut it down and reset it and bring it back to where it needs to be. Because, Lord, I want my inheritance. And if I have ever made anybody feel bad for their inheritance, be it physical, mental, spiritual, financial, emotional, in any way relational, if I felt any type of negative way for anybody and their personal blessings and inheritance, I ask your forgiveness in the name of Jesus so that I can walk into the things that you have for me. Y'all, it don't take nothing to pray those quick prayers. Nobody even has to know you even listened to this or said the prayer. But when you know it might be something that you're doing, you don't want to continue like that. Once I figured out, y'all, I didn't want to continue like that. I did not want to keep feeling like I'm a bad person because there were some things God blessed me with that he didn't bless somebody else with. But it was things he blessed them with he didn't bless me with. Don't let other people make you hate your inheritance. That is not God's will for your life. Don't you start feeling bad because somebody else might, might have had to do something a hundred times and you only had to do it a half a time or no times at all and you got the blessing. Do not let people make you feel bad. Because that is not your light in life. Do not make people feel bad because you have different resources than them and they can't go down a route you're on. Do not let people make you feel bad because they're not taking the time like you to actually cultivate your spiritual walk and the things that God has given you. And they rather attack you for it. Don't feel bad for that. I need somebody. I hope I'm speaking to somebody right now. Some of y'all over here word cursing yourselves and God say, hey, you can do that. But you done talk to somebody who got you feeling lazy and making you feel bad because you done forfeited your miracle and your blessing because they jealous and hating. Nope. I pray whoever is affected by this and they haven't seen it, I pray in the name of Jesus that you share this, you like it, you give it to somebody, you let them know so that it can bless them. This is one of those icky things that hides in plain sight. Well, we're going to call that mug out today. Like, share, subscribe, turn on the notifications. I will be back with another message soon on Wired to Inspire. I hope you are too.